Senate Republicans have spent months, months, trying to get another bipartisan rescue package passed and signed into law for the American people. For months, our position has been entirely consistent. We want to reach agreement on all the areas where compromise is well within reach, send hundreds of billions of dollars to urgent and uncontroversial programs, and let Washington argue over the rest later. There's no reason why doing right by struggling families should wait until we resolve every difference on every issue. But unfortunately, both Speaker Pelosi and the Democratic leader have been equally consistent. And they don't think Congress should do anything at all, anything, unless they get to cash out a far left ideological wish list, including things with zero relationship to the present crisis. They've continued to insist that congressmen pass their so-called HEROES Act or do nothing at all. The problem is that their proposal is a multi-trillion dollar laughingstock that never had a chance of becoming law. Let's recall what Speaker Pelosi's own members said when she first released this proposal. Quote, I think the HEROES Act went too far. It got loaded up with a bunch of political wishes things. Quote, this is Washington politics at its worst, a partisan wish list. Quote, it's a middle finger to the American people. These are all rea reactions, Madam President, of House Democrats. And no wonder, because here are just some of the demands the Speaker will not drop. A massive tax cut specifically for wealthy people in blue states. A colossal slush fund for consistently mismanaged state and city governments with no linkage to actual pandemic needs. These things are included, but they managed to completely leave out, listen to this, leave out entirely any new funding for a second round of the Job Saving Paycheck Protection Program, something we made sure to include in every Republican offering. They want to spend $3 trillion but couldn't find one cent, one cent of new money for the Job Saving Program that has kept small businesses afloat from coast to coast. Oh, and by the way, because the far left decided in the summertime they didn't much like the men and women of law enforcement anymore, between the first and second versions of this proposal, the speaker literally took out, listen to this, took out hundreds of millions of dollars for hiring, equipping, and training local law enforcement. I guess by their account, the police don't count as heroes any longer. By playing all or nothing hardball with a proposal this radical, our colleagues have thus far guaranteed that American workers and families get nothing at all. The pace of our economic recovery and the promise of vaccines on the horizon give us reasons for major hope. But we're nowhere near, nowhere near out of the woods yet. Vaccines will need to be distributed nationwide and quickly. Republicans targeted proposals, provided billions of dollars to make that happen, but Democrats blocked it. The PPP has helped millions of American workers and small businesses hang on thus far. But now, in the home stretch, they need more help. Republicans' targeted proposal would have renewed that lifeline for the hardest hit small businesses, but again, Democrats blocked it. So think about it, Madam President. We moved heaven and earth and spent mountains of money to help workers keep their jobs and help small businesses keep the lights on from the springtime all the way up to now. But now, but now, after all that, with the end seemingly in sight, we might lose the hardest hit small businesses in the home stretch because Democrats have refused, refused to let us continue helping. We kept family businesses alive for months and months, only to see some of them fail now, with vaccines on the horizon, because Democrats have blocked another round of PPP. Well, it's not too late to make a difference. Republicans stand ready to deliver this urgent aid. Let's fund all the programs where there's not even real disagreement. Just the ones where there's no disagreement. And let's do it now. We just need Democrats to finally get serious about this.